Hi mathmates, today we are going to prove equality of this limit uh, with a zero. Let's start. So, bottom uh, denumerator 2 to the power of n we can um, express as a 1 plus 1 to the power of n and in next step uh, we now uh, we can use the binomial theorem and uh, so let's plug in uh, our um, sum to this formula so a b as 1 the power also 1 uh, in the as a first we have n factorial divided by um, uh, n factorial so it's give us 1 in the next step, uh, we plug into this uh, formula our i. So we have n factorial divided by n minus 1 factorial multiplied by 1 factorial. And in the next step, also we just put instead of, instead of i, a, i2. So here we can write. Um, n factorial as a n minus 1 factorial multiplied by n and n minus 1 factorial uh, we can cancel and here the remain only n and from this fraction we also write instead of n factorial n minus 2 factorial uh, multiplied by n minus 1 and n so in this case also we can uh, cancel factorials and here the remains only n uh, multiplied by n minus 1 over 2 and so on as we saw in this sum all addends are positive so we can write uh, this second addend less than sum of these other uh, addends so we can write this type of inequality for all n more than 2. Let's look uh, whole our expression. Uh, it's obvious that this um, fraction more than 0 and from the right side uh, we just put instead of 2 to the power of n uh, this uh, our fraction and divide to this value and uh, our uh, sign also saved because this value is positive this fraction is positive so in this case um, we can cancel n and n and it's equals to divided by n minus 1 so limit of this fraction when n goes to the um, infinity uh, this fraction goes to the zero so limit from the left side and from the um, right side goes to the zero and from this we uh, we make, can make conclusions that um, this fraction also goes to the zero when n goes to the infinity that's all if you have any question please note them on the comment thank you for watching